Hey guys. Let's talk. What's up? It's Silas here. And I'm sorry that I haven't been able to post a video in a while. I've been busy with some schoolwork lately. And I haven't been able to post the video. So, please hit a like button. Please hit that like button. Subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Buddy Young was born on January 5th, 1926 in Chicago. In high school, he, when in his freshman year, the coach thought he was too small to ever play football. He transferred and got revenge on him, scoring four touchdowns in that in that game. I guess that's a welcome. So he gets recruited to Illinois by head coach. Ray Elliott, and he stars in his freshman year. He tied Red Grange, his single season record for touchdowns in a season in the Big Ten. In the Big Ten. So, oh, oh yeah. And in case you guys were wondering, this starts a whole series. Under in a whole series, all sixty-four teams. Well, more than one. FBS teams. 64. Yeah. All 64 Power 5 teams. Yeah. yeah. So, Young gets recruited to Illinois by Ray Elliott. Tied for a grand single season record in the Big Ten for touchdowns. And then, gets drafted into the Navy. And and, on the, and in the Navy, you had, you had like these teams. You had these football teams. And he led his team to the championship game. He led his team to the title. And in the title game, scored four TDs. Three TDs. Three TDs. In which he had two of them kickoff return. And three. And one of them. And one of them. A 30 yard rushing touchdown. And an impressive day. And I don't know how you could top that. I don't know how you could possibly top that a day like that. And Ray Elliott basically asked to re-recruit this guy to come back to Illinois. But since their bond is already stronger than ever, he goes, but he goes back to Illinois. And he still is an All-American and a star. In, in the 1947 Rose Bowl against UCLA, he became he was the he was the co MVP and was the up and was one of and was the second great and is now the second greatest running back in Illinois history. So and any and he gets drafted by the New York Yankees from the AAFC. Now you guys might be thinking, hey, New York Yankees are the New York Yankees are a baseball team. Well, they were an AAFC team. There was a, there was an AAFC team named the New York Yankees. And once the AAFC folded, Young, along with several other of the Yankees players, moved over to the New York Yanks. Which is, I don't know if that's copyrighted or not. He, they move over to the New York Yanks of the NFL. And he is a star. Three years with three years with the New York Yanks, he, he stars. Stop. Then goes over to Dallas, Texas. Now, the Chiefs! There you go. Oh, it's just behind up. And he's still the star he was for the Chiefs. And he's a star for the Chiefs. For one season. And they get traded to Baltimore. Which became the pathetic Colts. Or now pathetic anyway. And he's he was the he and he had the second longest kickoff return for a touchdown. 104 yards in 1954. 
He then retired after the 1955 season with him being in the College Football Hall of Fame, a one-time Pro Bowler, and a legacy on Illinois football. So, and at the age of 56, he dies in a car accident, a single car accident, and dies tragically. But the man will never be forgotten by Illinois football. Or anybody. Or anyone on the planet. He, he, he would have left an inspiring story. A college football hall of famer. I think I could say it. I couldn't say it nothing about this guy. This guy is. Amazing. This guy is amazing. And I can't, I can't say anything else about him. He's a great guy. And. Rest in peace, man. Rest in peace, buddy. Alright. If you like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe. I'll see you guys.